Welcome back to Farming Simulator 15 with the Rude Man. And I just got some bad news. Well, it's not really bad news. But, the issue I had with the spray rig, uh, I didn't look very close. I had a subscriber point out to me that it wasn't a sprayer I bought. It was an extra tank for a sprayer. No wonder it didn't work. Ah, uh, I guess, hey! Look at that. I have a flashlight. Cool. So anyway, uh, I guess that teaches me not to uh, read when I'm looking at stuff. Let's see. There we go. Uh, my fault. I should have read the darn thing. An additional tank increases the capacity of sprayers. I didn't read. I was so excited about getting this game. I looked at that and I thought, ooh, it's a, it's an inexpensive spray rig. And I just bought the darn thing. So, anyway, I did go ahead and buy one of these. And it took every, every almost all my money. I'm down to $3,000. But uh, at least I can do some spraying now. So, let's get to it. There's my new spray rig. And let's run up there and spray a field or two. Thank God I didn't go too long on the uh, time so that I... I still have time to spray, I think. Now, here's the thing. Watch this. This thing spreads out like you wouldn't believe. I think it's only going to take like two and a half passes for this field. Yes, look at that thing. It isn't done yet. One more. Look at that. Pretty cool. Here's something cool about tractors. I don't know if you knew. Um, let's see here. You remember when I said I was trying to make that stupid spray rig work and I was pushing all the buttons? Well, when I started pushing the uh, number buttons on the keyboard, on the um, the numpad if you push one you get the left blinker if you push three you get the right blinker if you push two you get flashers and then if you hit let's see six you just get the work lights so pretty cool so if you hit if you hit your regular F for lights then you get them in sequence like that But anyway, let's uh, do some spraying here. First of all, I need to get over to the left a little bit. All right, now I should probably uh, let's let's lower it a little bit, and then let's turn it on. And drive. Should have done it sooner. I can't tell where I've been now. All right, I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to uh, kind of watch what I'm doing here. By the way, I had to sell the uh, the tank, or otherwise I wouldn't have enough money to buy this. gonna have a hard time I'm just gonna go ahead and overlap I think I'm overlapping by quite a little bit but that's that's okay I'd rather overlap than not get it done well I learned a lesson don't get excited when you buy a new game because when you do, you don't read the instructions. Of course, I never read instructions anyway. I'm a man. I don't stop and ask directions either. All 
Uh oh, uh oh. Uh oh. Um. Doggone it, I keep hitting these stupid trees. Alright, go back. I'm not sure if I... I think three passes will do it, looks like. And it looks like so far I've used about 80% of my fertilizer. I still have two more fields to do. I'm not sure, but I think... No, that one might be the smaller field over there. So, I have a subscriber um, that has a birthday tomorrow. So, Scorpion, happy birthday. And um, guess what he got for the uh, birthday? He got a copy of this game. So don't take too long to catch up to me, Scorpion, because I need to know everything you know about the game. Um, wow, I can almost do this field in two runs. Okay, yeah, it's going to take two. Make sure I overlap over here. Got to make an extra run anyway. So we've used, uh, we're down to 63% of our fertilizer. So we should have enough to do all three fields. Although I think that uh, field 39 is the larger field. Just have to make sure that, uh... oh, I keep hitting the wrong, actually I'm not hitting the wrong key. I, with my key uh, pad, I have to hit uh, two two keys. I have to hold the bumper down and hit the uh, X key. And as soon as I do that, I'm letting go of the bumper, and that's what's happening, or something like that. Yeah, that's what's happening. Uh, I'm just releasing pressure on the bumper, and it's enough that it makes me jump out of the truck. Uh, tra uh, oh man, the tractor. It's Halloween and I just ate too much candy. I'm caffeined out here. And for those of you that know you, I'm diabetic. Not good. There we go. Okay, let's head down to the other field. Oh. I guess I'm not going to get there this way, am I?
All right, let's see. I'm trying to look to see if there's a quicker way to get there. Maybe not quicker, but at least easier. Let's see, it's 6.29. That's a.m., isn't it? 6.29 a.m.? I know that in the other game it was a 24-hour clock. And I haven't really noticed if this one is or not. I think it is. I wonder how this game works with on multiplayer, if it works well. I watched um, somebody earlier this morning, not very long, I only watched for a couple of minutes, uh, a couple of guys playing uh, on multiplayer uh, on... on um, oh, I missed my turn. They were streaming on multiplayer. I don't know how they did it, but they had like $999 million or something like that. It was just a tremendous amount of money. I should go look at the video again because it sure looked like... At first I thought it was 999000 but there were two commas in there. I don't know. Okay. So I think that now this one is uh, a little bit easier to see. Let's this guy do, go here and I think I've got enough uh, fertilizer. I got 52% left. That's quite a bit of fertilizer. That field's not that big. So, what I want to do is oh, oh, is he going to be able to turn that rig? Oh, my, my, my. I don't know. It's pretty long see what he does oh yeah plenty of room just barely <laughs> that was close that was close anyway what I was gonna say is uh, I'm, I'm going to try to do as many episodes as I can um, because if I if I dink around playing this game like you would normally do, everybody in your dog's going to get so far ahead of me. You know, I want to keep uh, I want to keep up and keep ahead of this. I had somebody comment to me uh, about my videos and uh, they a couple of the videos that I do you know I don't put a lot of time in the flying one um, because it's a beta and I'm having trouble with it and I'm not having trouble with the game the game runs okay um, after all, it is a beta, so there's going to be bugs and stuff. 
But it's the recording. I, for some reason, I'm having trouble recording the darn thing. I get about a third of the way through a 45 minute video and I lose all sound. Not just the microphone, but the game sound as well. It just doesn't record. And so I've had to record it using different uh, software and it's not as good a quality as I would prefer. And it's kind of a pain. So I haven't been recording much of it. I've just been re recording every once in a while when there's a change in the game. And they're getting ready to come out with the game, I believe. Uh, it's now in, I'm talking about Elite Dangerous. It's now in um, Beta Phase 3. That happened just uh, before the weekend. But anyway, I had a, a comment that said that my videos are underrated. I had to read that a couple of times <laughs> because I'm a little paranoid. And, you know, I've heard so many YouTubers saying that if you're going to make YouTube videos, you better have a thick skin um, because people can be really, really nasty out there and mean and downright vicious. And so I thought, well, you know, I could just ignore them, I guess, if they get, you know, too mean and nasty. But so I kind of read that because after hearing that from a couple of YouTubers, you know, you got to have a thick skin. If you don't, you won't want to do this. And so I've always kept that in the back of my head. And every time I see a comment, I'm a little paranoid and I and I try to take it um, you know as as a negative comment and in most cases in, in you know my videos they're not I don't have a lot of negative comments I have a lot of very good comments I have a lot of some you know very good subscribers and I appreciate that and um, but anyway you can tend to be De immediately defensive so it's almost like every time I get a comment I click it saying okay what did I do now what, are, what am I gonna get you know and it's just kind of a I don't know kind of defense mode so anyway I saw this uh, comment that says that well your videos are underrated and I read it as your videos are overrated and I thought oh uh, okay I guess nobody's perfect and then I reread it and I said no wait a minute he's saying that they're underrated that would be a compliment wouldn't it and so um, I have a reason why I'm telling this story and the reason is that when I when I showed my wife I said now that's a compliment isn't it and she goes well, yes it is and uh, and I said oh well that's good Especially since what most people don't may or may not realize, I've only been doing this for four months. So, if you look at it that way, I think I'm doing pretty good in four months. I went back to the first several weeks, or I think even the first month that uh, I was recording videos, and, and I listened to them. They're awful. I didn't, uh, I, I wasn't used to talking all the time through the video, and I had a real bad microphone, and they just sounded terrible, you know, the microphone's not very good, I didn't know how to set up the equipment, that kind of thing, so anyway, I thought I'd tell that little story, only because the uh, subscribers that I have make me feel really, really good. I just like to listen to your comments. They've always been supportive and uh, and informative, very informative, and I appreciate that. So you know, it, long story short, I appreciate you. I I really do. Okay, so we've got three fields. We have them sown and fertilized, and let's 
increase time a little bit. With a different key. There we go. I was just looking at some of these things here. I wonder what show all help icons in the game is. I turned it off right away. And the reason I was thinking that as I was watching, there are people out there that like what they call achievements. And if you remember in 2013, one of the things was they had little horseshoes all over the place. I never bothered with that. I never went looking for horseshoes. I happened to pick up a few just because I clumsily walked over them. But I never purposely went out of my way to locate them. Um, some people like that. In the World of Warcraft, for example, they had what they call vanity pets. And some people just had to have every, every one of them. And sometimes you get them from uh, quests. And sometimes you, you know, purchase them. And there are different ways of getting these vanity pets. But it wasn't anything that necessarily interested me. I just like playing the game. But I saw somebody looking for all these gold coins. And when they brought their map up. Let's see. Let me bring my map up. When they brought their map up. In the map, there were little gold dots everywhere. And I was just wondering how they were getting those. I don't know if those are ones that they found. Or if they're gold coins that they need to find. It wouldn't be much of a treasure hunt if you knew exactly where to go, though, would it? I don't know. Let me see. I'm going to turn that on. Show icons on map is already on. See, I assumed that this... Um, that this just was for the icons that show you, you know, tutorial type stuff. But I may be mistaken. Let me pull the map up. Yeah, I don't see any gold dots. I don't know how he got that. And I didn't watch the whole video, so I don't know how it started. And for all I know, there's a mod out there that lets you do that. Yeah, see, all those icons are up now, so I don't, I don't really need those. No. Yeah, I don't know if I mentioned, but if you notice that you can turn withering on and off, that's interesting. And I haven't changed this from normal. I'm just going to leave it at normal, I think. I did start playing on the Westbridge Hills map and I actually said I wasn't going to but I thought that I would go ahead and start a game on the Westbridge Hills map and so that I could play it so I could sit and play you know while I'm watching TV or I actually don't watch a lot of TV but I watch a lot of YouTube videos uh, and so I thought, well, maybe I could uh, sit and play that while I'm watching videos, and that would get me out front of the game. Oh, look. All right, so I've got two of them that are ready to harvest. 38 is not ready yet. But that doesn't mean we can't start. So let me uh, go back and turn this time down. Anyway, I thought maybe I'd play a little bit on that uh, map, since I'm familiar with the map already. I mean, I played the snot out of the titanium version. And that would get me out front of the game so that I could learn, you know, how to play it better. And the farming part's not the deal. The deal is when you get into the lumberjack and stuff, I have no clue how that works.
Okay, let's see what we got for... We got your pipe out, enable straw swath. I don't really need that. I don't have any way to pick it up yet, so... All right, that didn't work. Pipe out. Let me pipe out. Enable pipe. Disable straw. Now, in look at that. Left bumper Y puts the pipe out. Left bumper Y disables the straw swath. Uh, okay. That's kind of weird. Right, I'm, gonna, I'm going to uh, try to do this. Now, wait a minute. It said it turned the swath off, didn't it? Uh-oh. Look, it made me go out of whack. Um, yeah, I wasn't going to hire a driver this time. I'm just going to waste fuel driving around like this. So, one thing I was wondering, when I did a uh, cursory tour of this map, I don't see a fuel tank on this map. Well, I'm not on the map, I'm sorry. On my farm. I don't, I didn't see a, a fuel tank on my farm. But when you go to West Bridge Hills, you do have that same fuel tank right in front of that shed. But there doesn't seem to be one on this map. I keep saying map, I mean on this farm. But you can buy, I notice in the uh, store, you can buy a fuel tank, a portable fuel tank. Now here's another reason to hire a worker, they drive straighter than I do. the circle. I saw somebody mention something about the uh, mirrors. You know, the mirrors work, if you notice. But they only work if you have a computer good enough to uh, turn the graphics up high. I think on low and medium, the mirrors do not work. I was watching some of the tractors the uh, when you go into this view here the windows are so dirty you can almost not see through them it's really funny So, um, I'm kind of undecided what to do on the farm. I want to do everything all at once, and there's just no way, uh, because I don't have any money. I don't know if you remember when I first started playing the Idaho map, I kept saying, oh my god, oh my god, I don't have any money, I want to do all this, I want to do that, I don't have any money. Well. 
we're starting afresh here, aren't we? No money again. But I'm trying to think of a strategy, and I think I, yeah, I want to I want to figure out how the missions work. That's kind of weird. You can set your missions just like the in, in uh, 2013. Uh, you know, every five minutes, every ten minutes, that kind of thing. Whoa! Wow! That header goes off. He speeds right up, doesn't he? But anyway, um, you can set your missions, but they don't pop up like they used to. That was irritating. And one of the reasons why I didn't want to do the missions is because they kept popping up when, when you didn't expect them. Well, when you didn't want them to. But in this game, they're on a bulletin board. So I think they pop up as often as you want to put them up there. Like every five minutes or every ten minutes. But, but you have to go out of your way to search the bulletin boards and accept one. So it'll offer a mission, and then you have a certain length of time be, to accept the mission before you know the next mission pops up. I have mixed feelings about the tractors starting up that by themselves when you get in them and turning off when you get out of them. Kind of reminds me of my riding lawnmower where the, there's a switch under the seat and as soon as you get off the seat the darn thing shuts off. Kind of like that. Mixed feelings about that. Uh, for realism's sake, I know in the uh, Farming Simulator 13 I had a mod that you had to manually start your tractors. And this is kind of convenient, but like I say, I have kind of mixed feelings about the realism in it. Oh, shoot. I said I was going to do this manually, didn't I? And then I hire a worker. All right, so um, let's see. What are we doing here? Lower the header. And turn on the harvester. There we go. So... I'm trying to think of a strategy in the game, and so I'm thinking that maybe uh, the first thing to do would be to try to buy, you know, more land uh, so you can get bigger harvests. Is that is that a good way of making money? Well, I know it is, but. Is that the best thing that you should do? Or should you, you know, my thing normally is, uh, is to try to do everything all at once. I want to do everything right now. I want to have the biggest farm. I want to do the logging. I want to do the animals. You know, I want to do everything. And I want to do it right now. So it just can't be done. So I'm thinking perhaps if I just uh, keep harvesting these three fields until I have enough money to, to buy another field. I mean, right now I've got uh, enough equipment to do that. I mean, I've got tractors and combine and, and uh, cedars and fertilizers and that kind of thing. It may just take me a while if I only have one combine, but that's okay. And the thing is, if I do that, am I going to record every episode doing that? Because if I'm doing the same thing over and over and over until I get, you know, $100,000, 
which is much, but I don't know. I'm just rambling right now. Now, do you see the exhaust coming out of the tailpipe of this combine? At first, I thought that was pretty cool, and I still do. But I kind of wish there was a little color to it. I've never seen an engine run that clean. But I, I kind of liked it, the the uh, graphical effects. And I think it's funny. Uh, another YouTuber uh, was complaining that there was some glitch in the game that his graphics card wasn't handling it correctly or something because he kept seeing, you know, these weird glitches in the game. And it was was until about 10 or 15 minutes into the game that he realized it was the exhaust from the from the engine that he was seeing and he thought it was a game glitch a graphical glitch oh that was pretty funny and I thought it was pretty funny because it's, it's, it's almost like something I would do and say So I, uh, I sent a comment to Scorpion wishing him happy birthday and I almost felt like what are you going to do for your birthday and then I thought well wait a minute he's getting Farming Simulator 15 I guess I know what he's going to do for his birthday by the way Scorpion if you're listening I hope you didn't eat cake on your keyboard I just hate it when your, your fingers stick to the keys Well, so far so good. Uh oh, it's full again. Man, I tell you, when that header stops and comes up, the tr this combine just takes off like a shot. Now, I wonder if you jump out before the uh, pipe is out, if it keeps going out. Good question, huh? I don't know. I guess I could have just went, to, went this route. Okay, so the first load almost filled this trailer halfway. Let's see if this tops it off. Which is another thing I was going to say about uh, Farming Simulator 15. I was hoping also that they were going to add a few more fruits. But we still just have the normal. The only thing we have different is the wood chips. And uh, that's why if you remember when I started seeding that field. And they made canola look like flowers. I thought, I thought, all right, we're going to have sunflowers or something, but turns out it was just canola. Yeah, look at the dirt on that windshield. You almost can't see through it. Funny. I can't wait to get a pressure washer and clean my equipment up. Yeah, I was thinking earlier, you know, I've, I've, I've talked about uh, in previous episodes about uh, OCD. And I know some people have OCD. 
I don't, but I know some people that do, and I'm thinking, until you can buy a power washer, how bad is somebody that has OCD going to feel about this game? Oh, I didn't realize this was a Hurlman. Or Hur a Hurleyman. Huh. All right. Good. But yeah, that's got to bother you. Your equipment being dirty like that. My daughter had a boyfriend one time that had uh, OCD and uh, you know there's different levels of it and it affects people differently and uh, this guy all right let's see we need to turn on the harvesters so. um, he couldn't stand seeing a mess and he would come over to the house and uh, if there were um, dirty dishes let's say or let's say he walked into somebody's bedroom and there were clothes that weren't in the hamper laying around or you know something like that he, he had to help clean house he had to clean house and the funny part was that what we would do we would find that when we got home from work and we always knew when when he was here because uh, we say oh 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 so such and such was here today and helped helped you clean the house your boyfriend because he would take things pile them in a corner and take a sheet or a blanket and cover them up uh, I would get so uh, angry because he would go in my office and hang sheets over the uh, uh, bookshelves because he didn't want to see the open bookshelves he couldn't stand that the bookshelves were open and I thought well that's the purpose of a book so you can see your books but anyway I just thought it was kind of funny Well, so far, this piece of equipment hasn't used a lot of fuel, really. Of course, it's kind of hard to say. Um, it doesn't look like that bar has moved very much, but I don't remember how many liters it started with. And it may be that you're just not able to see the whole bar because it's blacked out on the end. Oh, look, turn signals work on this rig, too. Flashers and beacons galore. Okay, pipe out. Let's put the pipe out. And it took us all episode to do one field. Isn't that fun? See what happens when you don't hire a worker? But I probably saved a little bit of money. I noticed that in the first uh, uh, time that I was on the map, it seemed like I spent between two and 3000 on just a hired worker of my money. I only have 2000 I can't afford to do that. So, I'm going to end the episode here. When I come back, I'm going to finish this harvest. In the meantime, happy farming, and I'll see you then.